thrilled and excited to talk to you about today's review it's about spider-man across the spider-verse and let me start by saying wow like uh, unbelievable it exceeded every single expectation like i'm not trying to keep the suspense and let you know what i feel i want to start off with a bang i've been looking forward to this movie since the first time i've seen into the spider-verse into the spider-verse is one of those movies i walked in um uh, excited because i grew up a spider-man fan spider-man is very very close to my heart very dear to me everybody can relate to spider-man spider-man is that friendly neighborhood spider-man he's somebody that's been given powers but he didn't choose the powers he doesn't know what to do with them he's a little kid confused and us being little kids or teenagers in that moment we don't know what to do with that power but peter through instances where he loses aunt may he can lose um uncle ben and he basically finds finds the righteous superhero path and that's why we love super uh, spider-man because he's somebody that is not a billionaire like Iron Man or Batman. He's not an alien like Superman. He's not having a super serum like Captain America who, you know, does it for his country. Spider-Man is just a kid trying to do good around his community, around his neighborhood. It's, he is not this big full-fledged hero that is going to be stopping world crisis but he does and we love spider-man because of his charisma his charm his humanity and how he never loses that smile behind the mask he's always making these jokes and he's trying to deflect the tension trying to make sure the person that is actually in danger is not scared and he's there to help and we love that about him he is our hero and let me tell you this it nailed every single aspect from the beginning. I felt like I was re watching the same charm, the same attractiveness that I saw in 2018 of Into the Spider-Verse that was actually also in Across the Spider-Verse. I was worried about it because I knew, and for those who do not know this, this is actually a two-part movie. So we're going to have a trilogy, which is fantastic. I think this movie should be told like this. And... Going into the movie, I already knew that. Uh, I thought this movie would be about two hours long. It was two hours and 20 minutes and too short. <laughs> that That's what I'm going to tell you. I wanted more. I wanted more. So much so that if they're like, okay, part one is done. Five minute break. Or do you just want to go back into part three and just watch it? I would have gone right back there. It, it was insanely good. The background score. The visuals, holy shit, oh sorry, holy shoot, visually stunning. It was every single dimension that had its own, it, every single dimension had its own personality, own character. You have uh, Spider-Woman, Spider-Gwen, her world looked like the comic books. It felt like it was driven from the comics with the idea. It had its own character, its own personality, and when she, it was back in with Miles, Miles, own dimension has its own personality and how they travel to other multiverse spider verse whatever you want to call it each one felt like they had its own personality and that personally also imitated the spider-man that reside there it was great seeing all these spider people oh my god i felt like a kid at a candy shop i was so 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 happy i had tears of happiness it was such a, i felt like a little kid in in a sense in the best way um, we, as me, enjoy, I enjoy superhero movies because I, for, for real, let's be honest, I cannot be a superhero. I don't have the capital for it. I don't think it's realistic in this world. And if you become a superhero, somebody somewhere is going to have a problem. So it's really hard to be. And when you go watch these movies, these shows, whatever you want to do, they take you away. And I really love that it was just not spider people problem. There was also a very personal aspect, which was the family drama. And um, 
the family drama actually was the heart and soul of the movie. I really loved how they were drawing every single aspect and showing different areas. Um, there were even moments where I myself was so engaged in this family drama that I was trying to answer. I'm like, oh my god, like you know, I, I don't want to spoil it. Um, as much as the trailer has given, the trailer has not given anything like i saw the trailer and i was like i hope it did not ruin it for me oh my god and dude it did not even scratch the surface it blew my mind the music was so good so good all the characters the voices everybody sounded good Isaac, isaac as um miguel uh spider-man 2099 for who are not familiar with it Wow, I loved it. The dynamics with spider people, it, it, it just felt so wholesome. Everybody working as a team and you can see the end of oh, the Easter egg. Oh my God, you, every single fan is going to love it. And there's so much Easter egg. This un undeveloped, yo, you're going to be so overwhelmed with the amount of Easter egg and information and jokes that are happening so fast. It's a fast paced movie. If you've seen the first one, you're going to understand it is as fast as the first one. It's probably a little faster. The fight sequences. I can go on about this movie all day long. I mean, it, it, I am so truly excited that I want to go back and see it. I miss so many moments in the sense where so many things were happening that I need to rewatch it again. Even now, whenever I see Into the Spider-Verse, there's so many moments I have not seen before and I catch up on the, and the detail in this movie is insane from the animation, from the music, from the characters, the world. It is insanely good i was amazed uh bill lord and michael miller sorry miller lord and miller they killed it like i've seen their movies and every time you see the movies i'm like okay they can make a better movie and they somehow do and to me this movie is a masterpiece it is one of the best comic book movies best spider-man it's the best spider-man movie I think I have it higher than Into the Spider-Verse. I mean, I love Into the Spider-Verse, and I think I have it higher than that. It was... I cannot go on without saying why. I wish you watch it. I hope you have watched it. And I will. if you want me to, I will make a spoiler. I will make a spoiler review. I will... Um... So you can actually engage with me. I want you to know, write down the questions. Please comment below, like and subscribe, share, whatever it is, this movie. I, I, please go out and see it. Please, please, if you're if you're a fan, if you like anime movies, if you like super, superhero movies, this, this, everything, every single thing. I am amazed. I am thankful. I am glad I'm a fan. I saw this with my kids. As you saw in the opening, they loved it. It was two hours and 20 minutes too short. I cannot wait for part three. Oh my God, where they left it at. I cannot wait for part three is going to be incredible. Incredible. I already think this is going to be the best trilogy of all time. It is heading in that direction. Like it exceeded the first one. Exceeded in every single matter. There's so much happening and you can relate so much to the comics. And how it ends, because obviously there's part two to it, this three-part trilogy. As a fan, you are going to be thankful, excited. I am so excited. I cannot wait for next year. Thank you so much for this movie. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please like, share, subscribe. See the movie. I hope you enjoyed this review. I am Suhi. Welcome back. Goodbye. Adios. Spider-Man Forever, Miles Morales might be my new favorite hero. He is such a great, great hero. Spider-Gwen, fantastic. And oh, last thing before I leave. Um, just like last time, there was a favorite Spider-Man for people. I know the fan poll has Spider-Noir as the best. This one is Spider-Pong. This is how uh, is it? Um Hobie? You will love him. He is he, such a great Daniel Kalu, I think he acted as him. Everybody's voices, everybody's character. Thank you for watching Suhi's.